Good morning, everyone. This is Katherine Troutman from Baltimore, Maryland at the Resume Place and the Federal Career Training Institute. I am teaching a 30-minute review this morning of my Certified Federal Job Search Trainer and Certified Federal Career Coach Program, which uh, licenses you to teach the curriculum 10 Steps to a Federal Job. This is the program for 2013, and I'm just going to do a review of the features of the program and um, the curriculum. Uh, this is one of the pictures of my class. We always have a class photo. This was from uh, this year, and uh, this is me right here in the front, and uh, this is Charles Clark. Charles is now part of my uh, instructor team. He is um, my day three instructor, which is the uh, HR day and the veterans. Uh, well, I, I'm starting to call it the non-competitive uh, appointment program day, because that's where we talk about all the special programs. So this is my training room right here in Baltimore, Maryland, and our next class is going to be in March here. So this is all about, um, these are the two logos right here. If you take my program, you can use these two logos in your business card, in your bio, and your website. And um, people know this program very well. It's been around a long time. I teach the program uh, up against the Job Seeker Guide 5th edition. This is the book that we use in the curriculum. It covers both spouses and military personnel in one book. And it's only about 130 pages long, so it's good. So these are the things that you get as part of the training program. You're licensed to teach the program, and look at this. Now it's three years. It was two years up until last year. Now I've decided everybody should just come back every three years. It's fine. Um, you are authorized to copy the PowerPoints and use them as your handout, so you don't have to come up with anything new. We teach practice teaching in our curriculum so that you get a little bit comfortable with teaching it because it is a, a challenging curriculum. And um, you can teach it to job seekers anywhere. We give you extensive federal employment knowledge about the non-competitive hiring and the special hiring programs. And then we also teach you how to coach and assess the skills of job seekers. And this is a whole day now. This is the way we break it up. Uh, assessing the, the skills and the qualifications for the job seeker is really important for all of us who are working with federal job seekers. I have a client right now who is a um, who is a veteran and who has been on the GI Bill with his master's degree and he's still been out of work for a year because he can't figure out how to figure out what jobs are right for him and what grade level. We're going to coach him some more. So these are all the features of the, of the turnkey program. Um, the program is taught by all these people. We have everyone come to this program it's really good. So, This is the first class picture I had to put this in here. Isn't this funny? <laughs> 2002. Here's Steve Gallison. You all know Steve Gallison, don't you? The job doc. He runs. He used to run the POAC. He created the first POAC. And this is Lee Moore. Uh, oh, right here. Lee Moore. She is a TSA coach now. And this is Nancy Fink, who is over um, also with the POAC, helped founded the POAC. Um, Alan Cross uh, got a job in the government, went to Iraq, and so that's my first picture. I love that. Um, this is one of my largest classes. This is Ed Roscoe before he retired. This is John Paul Gouda, who is now the Vice President for the uh, Partnership for Public Service. This is like a who's who we got going on here. Everybody looks so happy. It, I think it's the last day. Everybody's smiling. Now this is exciting. This is brand new. This is a poster. Hey, Freddie, I need to send you one of these. You send me an email. Anybody who teaches 10 steps in front of the class gets one of these posters. And this is designed to keep people awake in your class. <laughs> Isn't that a good idea? I have one right here. I have one right there behind my desk. Uh, Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. It's uh, the 10 steps to a federal job. And um, it just keeps everybody aware of what the 10 steps are, which I, you know, think about in my sleep, I think. Okay, these are, we, we travel. We go to bases, and uh, so if you want us to come to your base, we'll come. We've been to all these places. My favorite is, uh, let's say, Rota. Rota. No, Oahu. I'm going to um, uh, Schofield Barracks in uh, April, so you can join us there. This is another one of our classes here. This is Diane Hudson Burns. She's, uh, she's the author of the uh, SES book. And there's Bonnie Day, my sister, uh, who has now resigned from uh, working for the Certified Federal Job Search Trainer class. So 
you won't see her around anymore. She's gone back to music. She's a singer and a music director in a church, so that's her first love. Now, this is the certification that you would receive at the day of the, um, at the end of the program. Very pretty. Okay, these are my objectives here, to teach a train-the-trainer program, uh, it, to include federal employment, federal job search strategies, federal resume writing, competitive hiring programs, to license and train you in 10 steps, to educate you to advise job seekers, and to teach you assessment techniques for uh, reviewing resumes against the LPM classification standards. I know that's a lot of stuff for three days, isn't it? It is, believe me. <clears throat> and these are all the people that are licensed in the program. Now this is the um, top screen of the PowerPoint that we use in day one of our program. Uh, this goes along with the Job Seeker Guide. There are two versions of 10 steps. This is one, and there is another one that goes along with our, our uh, other 10-step book. And you will be licensed to teach both, this one and the other one. So um, I would show that to you in the program. Now, if you want to be independent and, and uh, be licensed to teach 10 Steps to a Federal Job, you can write proposals and uh, pitch yourself as a 10-step trainer and teach this program at all of these places. I teach these, uh, this curriculum at all of the places listed here, like every year, always. Conferences and meetings and luncheons and job clubs and transition centers and veterans programs, associations, conferences. You could put in a conference for NCDA or any conference that you belong to. It's really popular, and you can teach 10 steps in an hour. I have a short version, and I have a long version. So if you're going to do a one hour, a noon hour, then you would do the one hour version of 10 steps and fly through it so people don't start yawning and stuff at lunch. Um, or if you have three hours, you can use the long version. So it's really popular. And um, so this is what your instructor resources looks like. We have a web page designed for our licensed people. And you can pick up your PowerPoints uh, right here. You can get look at the course agenda that we taught in the class. And we have additional resources. And uh, you have online access to the PowerPoints all the time. We've got a long and a short version. We've got another PowerPoint called Five Steps to Federal Resume Coaching, which is new from last year. We have another PowerPoint that you're licensed to use that just covers USA Jobs, which is Steps 8 and 9. That's the PowerPoint Emily's going to use on January 24. She's using this PowerPoint right here. So you would be able to see this live on January 24 with Emily Troutman. She co-teaches with me in the certification. And then we have a PowerPoint here, Steps 5 and 6. I don't have this up as a, power, as a free webinar, so you're not going to see that one. Uh, the non-competitive hiring is day three, and that's what Charles teaches. PPPS, uh, Charles and I teach together on day three. That is Priority Placement Program for Spouses, which is cutting edge, brand new. Nobody's ever heard of it. Just created in 2011 by DOD. And then a ton more of coaching and resources skills for your um, federal job seekers. This program is huge in terms of content. This is a real favorite uh, thing that I created for our assessment day. We have this check sheet now for federal resume reviews. It's an 11 point check sheet and um, you're licensed to print it out and use it for all your clients that walk in the door. <laughs> you can go through their resumes with the 11 points and uh, give them a quick review of, of how the resume stands out for federal. Um, we've got a profile intake form. We have sample federal resumes that you can copy that the uh, author has given you authority to copy. We also use the VA for Vets template, which is a VA document, public domain. And then the PowerPoint for five uh, steps for coaching, we just created that. And um, that's for you, not for job seekers. It's to help you stay organized when you have all these people to, um, to, to talk to so you don't lose your, uh, your concentration. There's my poster again. Isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> I just created this only 30 days ago. Never had a poster before this intense. No, wait a minute. I did. I didn't like it. I did. But this one's pretty. Very patriotic. Hopefully it will keep people happy and motivated. Thank you, Elizabeth. Elizabeth says, you have set up this program perfectly. Thank you. I uh, work very hard at this program, let me tell you. So just a couple things about government jobs, uh, just real quick. Um, 
the uh, government is the largest employer next to Walmart. Now, I know you already know from yesterday the, um, you know, uh, Panetta says that there's a freeze for, for DOD jobs. Yeah, there is. Okay, there is. For real. Yesterday at 8 a.m., there was a freeze for hiring for DOD, except for accepted service. Um, so it's going to cut back on jobs for a while. But here's my prediction. You can all write this down. I think that that, that will be lifted on March 27 when the continuing resolution is up. So in the meantime, everybody should be working on the resume. Now, I'm just going to talk about this number right here. Veterans are 25% of the um, employees in government as of 2011. Is that shocking? Don't people tell you and think that there's way more veterans than that? I know. I'm, I'm surprised, too. Now, this year it could be a little higher, maybe 30%. But veterans do not, um, are not the entire government, so that's just kind of interesting. Now, what are the biggest challenges for job seekers? Well, I know you know it all. I heard this guy say this the other day. He says, I guess I just don't hit the right buttons. I thought that was so funny. I said, yeah, that could be it. Can't get best qualified. I never hear anything. I can't figure out what position is right for me. Federal job is so complex. I could go on and on about that. It is very, very difficult. I just hardly can believe it myself. So that's why we're here. That's why I teach this class, is to try to help people navigate everything. And then um, why federal jobs? Well, I'm certainly not going to read this list, but the number one reason when you ask your people, uh, why do you want a federal job, is that they want stability, they want career growth, they want these benefits. Even though Panetta said they're frozen, jobs are frozen right now, they're going to come back. Right now, they have to do something because of this budget crisis that we're in right now. This is temporary, so don't let anybody get too upset about it. So I hear all these reasons every day in my classes, and I know you do too. These are the books that you get with um, the program when you come into my class. This is the biggest handout you're ever going to get in any curriculum you ever take, I think, in your whole life. And there's one more too. That's one, two, three, four, seven, eight books. If you come here from Europe or someplace, we'll ship them to you. The, the eighth book that's not in the picture here is called Resume for Dummies. And that's Joyce Lane Kennedy's book on writing private industry resumes. We use these books in the curriculum, believe it or not. I, I, don't, I don't use them extensively. Now, the student's book, that one's really come up because of the GI Bill and the, and the pathways. This book here, you actually need to read. And it's available as an e-book. If you want to order it ahead and look at it right away, you can get that as an ebook, and um, if you work with students trying to apply to Pathways, that book there is mandatory reading, and I am totally not kidding. If you want your people to do well with Pathways, that book has to be read. Oh, I'm doing a, um, a radio show next week, next Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern with Fed Talk Radio, and um, it's all about Pathways. You need to uh, sign on. You can listen online with... Um, you can sign on with uh, online on the internet, and the people on the on the program with me are um, the vice president of the Partnership for Public Service, whose name I can't remember right now, and then the director of NASPA, which is the Public Policy Association for Universities, and me. So us three next Friday to learn more about Pathways. So I guess I better send an email about that out. These are the instructors: Emily, me, Charles, Sandy. And then C.J. Johnson is from California. She's going to help me in my uh, California class in July. We do have a board of directors. And if you're interested in being involved in my curriculum and my program, send me an email. And this, this year, I changed my curriculum a lot. It was terrible. I had to work really hard. These are the fees for the program. Um, new certification, $2,495 for government, military, nonprofit, individual people, $2,195. Recertification is here. And then I don't have a slide on this, but we do have an awesome three for two program. Um, send three people, you pay for two. If you send four people, here's the deal. If you send four, you get one and a half free. So we even have a four for two and a half price. So that's pretty good. That's on my website. And then um, we sell the book um, at budget numbers if you want to buy 100 of them for your classes, if you decide that you have the funds to give them away. Um, these are the books that we give good prices on. Again, that's a certification and then uh, more help. This, see this cover letter right here? You know how many people use this cover letter builder in a day? Like a hundred. 
This cover letter builder is fantastic. It is so easy to write a cover letter with this builder. I get copies of them and I read them and they're so fun. I see the most amazing things. Our Federal Resume Builder is awesome and our KSA Builder is fabulous. These were all designed like in 1996, way back from the beginning of Internet. And uh, they're still alive and well and free and awesome and uh, you should check them out. Okay, now let's look at the next PowerPoint here. Okay, now these are the days. Um, uh, Elizabeth asked, do you have to be in person to complete the certification? Well, Elizabeth, it's better if you can come to the class. But I do realize that there is a super problem with um, travel. So um, we don't have this, uh, this in, um, new certification program set up for webinar. But you can write to me. We could try to figure something out. Um, Elizabeth also wrote, did you see the announcement a few days ago that Walmart will be hiring a job for every veteran? Yes, I did see that, and I'm thrilled. I am thrilled. And, you know, what? I, the reason I like it is that just get the veterans busy, even though the job won't be exactly a career. But um, get them busy, get them out of their house, get them moving. Yeah, I think it's great. Okay, so here we go. Day one. Day one is called 10 Steps to a Federal Job. And uh, step one is Federal Employment 101. And we start with the classification standards and how they work. Now, regular job seekers have never seen this before in their lives. And if you um, teach this to your job seekers, you're helping them. Even if you didn't tell them anything else, let's say you just told them this, <laughs> they'd be better off. <laughs> because this class standard, I, I talk to about to every client I talk to. So it's like all day. It's a smoking website. So people have to know how to use this to review their resume against. That's what my guy, Julius, is not looking at. He doesn't even know this exists, even though I showed it to him. Step two is about networking. That's me at a job fair, helping people with their, their networking and lessons. I did a 10-step class at Syracuse. This is the day, uh, the one day after Sandy. And my whole battalion that I was teaching there was getting deployed up to Sandy to help everybody. Basically, they were going to help Walmart unload their trucks. Okay, this is a LinkedIn uh, sample that I have on LinkedIn, Natalie Richardson. It's a, a pretend person based on a real person. So we talk about LinkedIn in step two. Step three and four. Uh, step three is accomplishments. This is one of my attendees in my class at Holloman Air Force Base. She's at White Sands. She has a nice smile. I love that picture. Um, and we also teach people how to search in USA Jobs. So that's step three and four. And step five and six are, are just unbelievably important. Just, I can't say enough. Step five, if you don't know how to find keywords in an announcement and match them to your resume, I'm worried about you and your federal job search. And then step six, of course, is the uh, introduction to the outline format, which is so popular and so successful with federal HR. And I love the outline format. All the resumes we do here at the Resume Place are in the outline format. All the samples in the books are in the outline format, so five and six, I guess, are my favorite steps, if I had to say so. <clears throat> now, I don't know. Seven, step seven is unbelievable now. Um, we do talk about KSAs and how they have to be in the resume, but what's so important is this questionnaire. Oh, my gosh. Oh, gosh. I helped somebody apply for a job last night. He works at West Point, IT specialist, and you know what he did? I, I checked his account. We were applying for a specific job, and he uh, he he checked off D on every single question. After we worked for five hours on his resume, he was going to ruin it with checking off D. Oh, I couldn't believe it. I just like said no, no. You've been in this job a long time. You've been at West Point like ten years. And he's only applying for 12. He's been 11 forever. Why wouldn't he be an E? He says, I've never been a supervisor. And I said, no, no, read this, read this. He says, to be an E, you have to be an expert or a supervisor, or normally I'm the person who is consulted by other workers to assist them. I said, now really, don't people come and ask you for help on certain things in your world? He said, yes. All right, change them to E's. But I've had like badger him to do it. So... Oh, man, so seven, I don't know. Seven is just unbelievably important. I don't know, five, six, seven. All right, now eight and nine, okay. Actually, I love eight and nine. I love nine. Nine's my favorite, I think. 
I love to follow through with people and uh, coach them on how to turn their applications around. For instance, my guy Julius that we're working with, you know what? I went into his account. That's what I do when I'm a federal career coach. I get their username and their password, and I go into their account, and I look at what they've been doing. Well, Julius has not been using the resume that we fixed up for him. He's been using his old resume. How do you like that? And he's been applying to every job in uh, wherever he lives, Kentucky or something, Alabama. He's not paying any attention to the job titles. He's scoring himself as D's. Okay, so that's what's called track and follow up. I have a lot of stories for step nine. A lot and a lot, a lot of stories. Oh, man. You can really, actually, the government does a good job of giving you information about what's happening with the applications. And step number 10 is about the behavior-based interview and how to practice and how to talk. And we do role-playing. This is Charles talking to one of our attendees. We're doing a role-play on interviews. Charles actually works in the government. He's actually a government HR uh, director, and he takes off time to, um, to work for us. He, he trains 14 days a year. He is the VETS representative, the Schedule A representative, and an HR specialist. He is an Air Force veteran himself, and he is awesome. He has a wonderful smile, and he is just a fabulous instructor. I'm so lucky to have him. Okay, day two is all about coaching and federal resumes. And here I am coaching. Uh, we're doing a role play. I do a lot of role plays on day two so that uh, you can see how to coach a client and how to review a resume, and we use our five steps. This is the check sheet. I bring case studies to the class, about five of them, and I hand them all out, and um, we do the check sheet, and we review whether this person can really qualify for the job, what's wrong with the resume, what needs to be done to improve it so that they can get best qualified and referred. It's kind of fun. We do this in little groups, and the check sheet is awesome. This is my class as well in Baltimore. We do our practice training in my, in my real office. This is my resume place office right here and we split everybody up and uh, do a 10-step training and there's my group right there and we do this in two hours the, the practice training here's one of my instructors this is Bob and he just got a new job in Air Force because of our class he's one of my stories in my seven tips he's uh, story number one uh, called resilience <laughs> you have to take my seven tips if you haven't taken my seven tips workshop you definitely need to do it so there's Bob teaching, practice teaching. I can't remember his name. He's from Hawaii. He was wonderful. He was a really, really good instructor. Very, very personal. And there's another instructor. He's from Fort Bliss, practicing 10 steps. Everybody stands up and teaches a step, so get ready. Here's Charles. He's talking about something, Schedule A, Veterans Rep, HR. He's got a lot of tough topics, but, oh, man, he brings it alive and makes it so interesting. Here's uh, one of his topics. This is day three now, non-competitive hiring. He starts with merit principles. We've got to start at the beginning. You know, why it's so complicated. Then Charles talks about veterans' preference and the specialized experience, 510, 30% vet, and the VEOA. He can actually explain it. And he actually talks about the um, category rating, which is terrible, very difficult to understand. And then he talks about pathways and the... Um, Pathways for Veterans, he talks about for, for veterans and non-vets. And then he talks about the um, feds uh, hire vets and how he is a veterans representative, how to use this list right here, and how to advise your veterans to use the list to, um, to uh, speak to a veterans representative at an um, agency. He also talks about Schedule A. This is a conference that I went to. These dogs are all being trained to work with wounded warriors. This is a Wounded Warrior conference that I went to, and this dog is probably working with the Wounded Warrior right now. Schedule A is very important for you to know about because if you've got a 10% um, or more a veteran, they can work with Schedule A in addition to the veterans program, and we teach you about Schedule A. And then there's the military spouse programs. We go into a, a fair amount of detail with the new PPPS program, which is, which is a new chapter in the PPP program, Chapter 14. And I do a practice, I do a practice role play with a, um, a spouse in this program to bring it alive. And again, there's our books, instructors, and that's it for the program. Now, you can find out more information over at our website and where to register. If you're interested, and you can always write me, yeah, I know, role plays are great. 
Here's the uh, web page. The way that I found that again is go to my Resume Place website, click on Training, and then Certification, and here's my certification page. And here is the curriculum again, if you want to see it again, right here. These are the dates that are coming up very soon. And these are the fees again. Uh, there's the three for two. And then here's group rates. We've got all kinds of things. This is the list of the people who've taken the program. And right here is the list of the people who are currently certified. This is my Holloman class. <laughs> we had a good time. This is the guy that got the job right there during the class. That's Charles. <laughs> Bob, he's got a brand new job. He started December 3, I think. And recertification, I have a separate program. Or if you want to get recertified through attending the full certification, I don't care. It's great. Just come back and, and do it that way. But my recertification is by webinar. So, but I'm flexible about this. I know this year I have to be flexible about my program. And these are the trainer bios that you can look at later. There's Charles and me and Sandy. So that's really all I have for you this morning and evening. Um, this is the uh, instructor page that you can get access to if you're a licensed trainer. And if you don't have um, access to it now, if you are a licensed trainer with the resume place with the certification program, write to me and we'll get you set up on this program. Um, the, the, here's the California program. Looks like it's going to be well popular. We've got 10 people in this already. That one's going to be popular. And um, of course, Cal if, you can come to, um, if you can come to Hawaii, there I am. <laughs> this is Yolanda Johnson. She's my sponsor there. And this is Jewel. Uh, she is the director of IMCOM for the Pacific region. So here we are in Hawaii and having a very aloha day. So uh, thank you very much, everyone. If you have any questions, you can write to me or you can um, send me an email afterwards or call me. Um, here's my email if you don't have it, which I know you do. I'm teaching this webinar, this uh, webinar again today at 12 noon. If you know anybody that didn't get to take it just now, they can come back at 12 noon. I hope I'll see you in one of my classes. Getting a federal job now is uh, more challenging than ever. And um, don't forget to go and look at my blogs. And uh, I know you're, you're on my newsletter list. If you want to look at something Obama-ish, here's a pretty cool little video that Emily made last year, or the last uh, um, election. Emily and I made this. We produced this as a video. I, I helped Emily produce this. It's cool. It's only three minutes long. So thank you very much, everyone, uh, for attending. I hope you got some good information. And I will be seeing you in one of my classes. And have a great weekend. And go Ravens and go President Obama. What a big weekend we're having here in the D.C. area. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day.